about new things absolutely boring and dull so we're going to break the monotony and make this year extremely colorful cheers to new beginnings and the new year we're going to deal with a lot of new things this year on glamorostic hey guys welcome to glamorostic my name is geeta and today we're going to work on an amazing peacock silk thread bangle which looks like this so after looking at this bangle aren't you excited to know how to make this bangle without much ado let's quickly jump into the video and no more in order to make this bangle we will need satin ribbons of three different colors a golden yellow green and blue and you will have to cut the satin ribbon like this which is 5 cm by 5 cm and you will need 12 pieces of each color so 12 blue pieces 12 green pieces and 12 yellow pieces you will need a stone chain let me give you a closer shot so we'll need this stone chain and we we'll need ball chains of different colors i'm taking a deep blue color and a teal color and a light green color and gold color we'll need fabric glue we'll need stones and kundans and a candle scissors pliers a tweezer a donut ring and a bangle which is readily made when i say readily made which has silk thread wrapped around it so without much ado let's jump into the video to know how to make these beautiful peacock bangles we'll have to first fix the corners of the satin ribbon that we have cut just to make sure that the thread won't come off like this so for that we need to light the candle and just pass the edge through the flame of the candle that way we'll be sealing the edges of the satin ribbon and the threads would not come off we'll have to do it for all the satin ribbon pieces that we have made now let's start making the petals for the peacock's tail for that you have to take one piece of satin tape or satin ribbon that you have cut and secured the ends and fold it into a triangle like this and further fold it into a triangle and keep it aside let's repeat the process for the blue one make sure that you have the right edge on top and the wrong side inside so making a triangle like this and further making a triangle which means we're making two triangles and keep this aside like this now we'll repeat the process with our yellow one the first triangle and the second triangle once we get it like this take the green one and put the blue one on top of the green one like this and the yellow one like this and just fold it in half so this is the desired shape of the petal that we want but we have extra edges here so let us cut the extra edges make sure that you use a bigger scissors to cut the extra edges on a sharper scissors hold all the ends tight and just snip off the extra edges and once we are done doing this hold it with a tweezers like this and pass it through the flame like this and hold now that we got the desired shape of the petal like this we'll have to make a cut 
parallel to the top edge which is like this so I'll show you how do we do, do that take your scissors and cut it like this all right now that this is cut we'll have to carefully pass it through the flame to secure the ends so here's our first petal let's repeat the process for all the 12 petals that we have Here we've made our 12 petals ready. Now it's the time for us to progress on and work on this dooring and wrap silk thread around this dooring. For this, I am going to take this blue color thread and wrap it around the doughnut. Here I have taken 10 strands of silk thread, the blue color silk thread in this needle and I will start wrapping this around the donut. I'm applying some glue here. So let's start wrapping the silk thread around this donut. I've taken the smallest possible donut ring. Here I have wrapped the donut ring completely in silk thread and now let's work on the bangle. Let's take our bangle which is already wrapped in silk thread. I have chosen yellow color as the base and you can choose any color that you want to. If you want to know how to wrap silk thread around a bangle, I'm going to place a link right here. You can check it for the basic tutorial of how to wrap a bangle in silk thread. Now let's take this drop shaped kundan and stick it here. I'm not going to stick it straight like this but I'm going to stick it a little towards the right hand side. So apply some fabric glue and stick the kundan. Before we wrap this stone chain I'd like to wrap this peacock blue color ball beads chain around this so I'm applying fabric glue around it around the kundan and just wrapping snip off the extra edge with a cutter just like that now it is time for us to wrap the stone chain so I'm taking the stone chain and I'm going to wrap it around the bangle like this and I'm snipping off the extra edge. So this is how it should look like. Once you're done wrapping the stone chain, I'm going to take this teal color ball chain and I'm going to wrap it around this. This forms the body of the peacock. Once this is done, let's snip off the extra edge. Now after the teal color, I'm going to wrap a green colored ball chain around this. So again, let's apply some fabric glue. And let's snip off the extra edge here. So this is how it should look like. Don't worry about the extra glue, it will dry off. And after this, I'm going to take another round of 
the stone chain. So I'm applying fabric glue again. And the stone chain. Now I'm going to take this golden ball chain and stick it around this just like this so we'll need to apply some more glue and here's how you wrap this I'm going to allow it to dry for a couple of minutes before I work on anything this has dried up a bit so I'm going to stick this donut that I have wrapped in silk thread here and this will be the head of our peacock so I'm applying fabric glue here and I would stick it like this in order to make the eye for the peacock I'm going to stick this kundan here like this so applying fabric glue again and just inserting the kundan now I'm going to make the beak of the peacock for this I will apply the glue like this in an inverted V shape and I'm using the same blue color ball bead chain I'm going to stick it like this so this is how we're going to stick it and I'm going to fill in the gap as well. So we're done with the beak of the peacock. Now that we're done with the body and the head, let's make the neck of this peacock. So we will take the same blue ball bead chain and apply some glue here in the form of the neck that you want. And start sticking this. This is a little messy but trust me the end result is absolutely worth it. So this is how we've stuck the neck using the blue bead ball chain. Now it is time for us to go to the tail. This is a little crucial. Let's take the petals that we have made and start sticking them in the form of a tail. So I'm applying fabric glue again. And I'm sticking the petals that we have made like so. These will take a lot of time to dry. Do not worry if they fall off. Just stick them back and make sure that you allow them at least seven to eight hours to dry. Now that we're done with the base form, let's start building upon this. Once this is done, let's build more on this by sticking more peacock feathers. So once this is done, we'll further build upon this by adding more petals. So this is how we have to stick the petals and I have stuck the kundans like this at the edges of the petals just to make sure that they look absolutely good. And here's our peacock bangle which is ready. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you like the video and share this video on your social media because
because the giveaway is still on. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until we meet in our next video, live glamorous thick.